Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a look at Sean White Snowboarding. It's a brand new snowboarding game endorsed by a gold metal snowboarder, and it's available now for all next generation platforms. Your, uh, your PS3, Xbox 360, Wii, uh, PSP, and PC. Control schemes for games are very important, especially for uh, sports games. Uh, in this instance, you have to sort of keep yourself from running into trees and that sort of thing. Uh, the deciding factor really is how quickly can a gamer start up the game and really get used to the controls and be able to, you know, get moving. And I think this game is very good for that. I was my my ability was hampered a bit by playing hours of Tony Hawk's skateboarding, which I assumed the controls in that sense would be the same, but they're really not. For one thing, the uh, the momentum that is needed to keep a player going is created by the game since you're going downhill. So you don't need to create your own momentum. The game really moves you on its own. So once you get used to that, it's, uh, it's relatively easy to play. The gameplay for Sean White Snowboarding turns out to be pretty much what uh, you'd expect from a snowboarding game. You have your standard racing modes, your trick modes, multiplayer. One of the things that is bored from the Tony Hawk skateboarding series of games is the chance to search for collectibles on the, on the levels. It's always kind of a pain, but uh, it serves the purpose of getting the player to explore the area and uh, really get a feel for the environment because it's a huge open area and you can there's all sorts of places you can go. It isn't just a straight sort of downhill track. The openness is really what the developers are pushing I think and is really what's going to sell the game to a lot of people. You can explore the hills and mountains and decide how you want to ride them. You can interact with other boarders and, uh, and with the environment. I would say the graphics for Sean White snowboarding are decent. Uh, there's not a whole lot of variety due in part to the fact that the, the game is set on a giant mountain that's covered in snow, so there's a lot of uh, interesting detail that you can look at. Uh, unfortunately, it's not up to what the PS3 and what the Xbox 360 are really capable of. The soundtrack for Sean White Snowboarding is fantastic. It's definitely something that is carried over from the from the Tony Hawk series. You've got a great variety of rock and roll songs from uh, Bob Dylan, Jefferson Airplane, Modest Mouse, that kind of stuff, and uh, Run DMC even, which I, I find really cool. Uh, unfortunately, there's no high school musical on the soundtrack, so if you're looking to rock out to that, you might have to just pop your CD in your own stereo while you play. Overall, I think I'd give Sean White Snowboarding about a 6.5 to a 7 out of 10. Uh, it's definitely a game if you really love snowboarding, if you love being on the mountain, but uh, you know you can't get out there for whatever reason, I'd pop in the game. It should provide you a lot of fun.